so I spent quite a while in the garden today and I have made a dent, <laughs> a little dent in the uh, wood chip pile. I've got a shade mix in here and the little snapdragons and um, I've done some paths. I think what I'm going to try to do is do just a light mulch where there are plants and then a heavy mulch where the paths are. So, and then a heavy mulch all along the edges. Um, so I will be taking a path out this way and then I've got a path that way and around there. And I will be doing a light mulch around the comfrey here. Comfrey and one burdock. <laughs> But it's looking pretty healthy. I have some burdock seeds I collected last summer. I should just stick them in the ground and see what happens. Um, my Lunaria is blooming here and there's some more over there where they're blooming. Mint's all coming back, agrimony, lemon balm, um, sage, and then I planted some new sage. The cramp bark here looks like it's going to have lots of blossoms this year, which I'm happy about. I've got some, a little bit of horseradish coming up in here, but the ground is really heavy, so it doesn't do super well. Uh, but anyway, and there's yarrow coming back, lots of bee balm coming back. There's a little bit, I think that's an echinacea there. Um, that's the goji. I planted some random parsley right there. Um, let me see what I got over here. This is a pineapple sage that's coming back. I see some Jerusalem artichokes coming up in here. And I cut back the figs a little bit. They're just starting to leaf out. The vegetables are going to go in here. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to put them in. I'm letting one of these kales go to seed right there. Um, this is all purple shiso. I will never have to plant purple shiso again. Um, I thought I was eating the blossoms and they're very tasty. They're like cabbagey and sweet. I planted some greens in here and here, some cilantro over there, There's some chard I put in. Um, I've got a few tomatoes in here. I'm trying with a couple of determinate varieties so they don't get all leggy on me and those ones are indeterminate. They're a purple Cherokee. There's some cage, cage kale that overwintered. All the bronze fennel is coming back. I put some sweet peas along there. Um, what else do we have? A lot of these coming up. These are those little, um, like, very, very tiny, tiny um, sunflowers. My clematis here is doing well. I put some different seeds in here. I put in. Um, um, California poppy and what else do I put in there? I don't remember. Some little bulbs, some freesia bulbs a neighbor gave me. There's more Lenaria there. Um, here is one of my, I transplanted, I rooted and planted some California mugwort. And here's one of them that's come back. I put California poppies and zinnias through here. I have a lot of um, larkspur. These are all larkspur that self sow every year. Um, this, I believe, is rocket. Um, it came up by itself one year, and the bees love it. Uh, but apparently, it's edible. Some this is where the stump is underneath still, and so I just put some compost and some buckwheat. On there and I'm gonna put some wood chips around on top of the leaves. There's comfrey, there's comfrey coming up everywhere. I've also got a lot of nigella coming up. 
some more parsley back here, some dill, um, that's red sorrel that overwintered, that's a feverfew, um, a couple more parsley. I'm looking to see if any of my Thai basil or Tulsi are, have self-sowed at all. They're, they're still not quite coming up, not like the, not like the purple she so. Um, so I'm kind of leaving this area for some of the basils. I'm still not done shaking out all that dirt. But I've got three Ella Campaign coming back. This one, and this one, and one that I thought was like gone. And then, no, it's still coming up. Uh, I want to get some mullen though. I don't have any mullen. I've been pulling up plastic that's still been underneath here, which grosses me out. There's, it's hard for me to tell the difference between the digitalis and the comfrey, um, but I think I have more comfrey over there than I need. That comfrey came from, if anybody remembers, um, Hedgewitch, uh, Rhea in Wisconsin. She, she sent me the roots. Um, so that's Wisconsin comfrey. Uh, but it's spread and I don't need that much. And then there's valerian. There's a few motherwort over there. I need to get some other medicinal herbs back in here. Um, I have a mallow, uh, a marshmallow that's coming up right uh, there. There's tansy and um, what else? There's a few little um, ladies mantle that I kind of dug up and transplanted a little bit. There's some um, meadow sweet coming back and it's spreading a little bit, which is good because this gets really shady. And a couple of like native delphinium. My ashitaba bit the dust. I need to get another one. I think a lot of stuff didn't grow well in here because that plastic and fabric was still underneath, which is a pain in the ass. Um, Fear few. I'm gonna re wood chip this. There's the dogwoods are starting to bloom. Uh, there's an agrimony that migrated over here. Um, there's lots of the little red poppies that I like. And bread seed poppy. There's a little bread seed poppy that came up there. And there's a few more in here. And there's more purple shiso. But there's these other kind of little red poppies that I like that are coming up there there and I planted some sunflowers in here and I planted some hollyhock roots over there um, chickweed <laughs> rosa rugosa which is doing really well um, <laughs> so I've narrowed this path I sometimes think if I should put an arbor over here and grow my hops or I've got some oh I'll show you the grapes but anyway I put some um, herbs along here sage, thyme, uh, oregano, and here's a nice little patch of bread seed poppies. Those must have come up when we had a warm spell back in February and the others didn't germinate yet, but now they're now a bunch of them are germinating. Uh, where are you guys? There's still a little right there, but there's like one, two, three, four of them that are already pretty large. Um, there's a nice little clump of them right there. So, I've put, oh, and I did a little lavender out at the end, but I've been experimenting with putting a, digging the hole pretty deep, throwing in some rocks and a little bit of wood chips and then some really um, nutritious compost and then mixing in the dirt and planting them in the hopes that they'll have a little bit better drainage since they are, you know, more like an herb that likes it drier and the soil is still pretty heavy. This is a goji, 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 and I've been tasting the leaves because I heard that you can eat the leaves too. Um, and they taste like the berries actually, only not sweet at all. Um, but we'll see if I get any berries this year. Comfrey coming up everywhere. Um, and what else? I gotta get out. I gotta get out all that jewel weed or most of that jewel weed. It's kind of crazy. But 
I have some columbine, some aquilegia in here that are looking really healthy, so I'm happy about that. More linaria back there. This is my camellia sinensis, my tea plant. The chase tree is taking, it almost looks like it's dead, but I don't think it's dead. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I think I'm seeing some, some buds that are actually swelling on here, so we'll see how that goes. But the um, elder's doing fine. Um, let's see. Let's go out back, Avery. Yeah, let's go out back. Got my boots on because it's so mucky out here. This is a clove-scented um, black currant blooming, obviously. This is another black currant. Oh, and I have some little starts out by the out by the figs and a couple right there that are coming back. Tulips. These tulips have done really well for the past few years. And there's some nice echolegia in there again. Rosa canina coming back. We'll see if we can get more blossoms off of that this year. More um, Lunaria. Japanese maples blossoming. Uh, gooseberry. <laughs> These are my little um, muscadine grapes that I started from seed. I just stuck the seeds in this pot. They really need to be transplanted. They shouldn't stay in the pot. Um, I've got some of my hops coming back over here. There's the hops right there. They don't do real well here though. It's too shady. Oh, and here's all my other California mugwort coming up there. And there's a couple of blueberries that are just sort of eking along here and blackberries that are also eking along. And oh man, there's a lot to do out here too. <laughs> there's my nettle patch. And I planted this elderberry, uh, not elder, mulberry. So here's a mulberry. And my um, bleeding hearts are starting to bloom. Another blackberry or two. Uh, these are just kind of like random grapes that are starting to bud. Um, you can see right there, it's starting to bud. I've got one little May apple in here. And I don't know, Solomon Seal hasn't come back here. Random figs. <laughs> Random motherwort. I planted, um, what you call it in here? Uh, asparagus, but I don't think they get enough sun. Little blueberry. That's starting to blossom. Uh, the azaleas are starting to leaf out. Um, I should plant something in this plant this year. Uh, let's see, what is this? These are, I don't know if this is a, this might be a, either a hosta or it might be the uh, lily of the valley coming up because there's a bunch of lily in the valley over there. Um, my poor little blood bird never does too much, but it's still alive. And this is blue coho here. Uh, and this is black coho coming up here, and there's some more coming up right there. There's a little, my little May apple stand. <laughs> they're so cute. They're so weird, but they're cute. Um, I was hoping they might have spread a little bit more, but that's all right. They'll have a blossom here, and then that's where the fruit is. But the fruit didn't set last year. I think some animal might have gotten it. Lots of daylilies coming up. Virginia bluebells, which I think they blossomed last year, but they're not blossoming this year. And then out here, I've got um, a couple of Solomon seal. This one, there's one coming up, and then, oh yeah, there's one over there. Another elder. This one has not set berries yet. And it's older than the one that's out front. It just doesn't get enough sun. There should be another Solomon seal in here, but I'm not seeing it. Another blueberry that's just sort of eking along. Oh, there's so much work. <laughs> there's only so much I can get done. Hellebores are still blooming. 
azaleas are just starting. Um, I need to mow back here. I've got a couple of hascap, which are also known as honeyberry, but they don't do real well out here either. This isn't the greatest soil. Um, I should transplant them, but I'm getting a little blossom on them, so that's good. <laughs> Another random rhubarb. Uh, so, I think that's it. That's the garden tour for today. I'll leave you with a, a view of the trees.